Hello everyone and welcome back to this video on the Royal Key Trading Board. My name is Leonard from DigitalLeonard.com and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, click the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published. And in this video, I am actually going to explain in details how the Royal Q Board actually works with your Binance account and how you can take care of some certain trading issues when they come up on the royal cube board and the first on the list here is um this error message that people get a lot of persons get these messages that um the app will tell you that due to insufficient balance of the exchange position replenishment has failed so position replenishment has been stopped if you need to open position replenishment please go to the policy details page to open position replenishment and to take care of this issue first and foremost it means that the balance you have on your binance account is not enough to cover up for the trading that is ongoing it depends on the number of pairs that you are trading for instance a lot of you have uh, you are starting off with um, 100 usdt in your binance account and you want to trade 10 pairs at the same time the market, yeah, I know that the crypto market is, is a volatile market, but it doesn't fluctuate that often. So what the, the, the simple thing you need to understand here is that, for instance, any pair you want to trade here, if I scroll down here and I want to trade any pair and I click on trading settings, what this board recommends is that the minimum you can start with is 10 USDT. Now, what this means is that you cannot have 10 USDT on your account and you want to trade 10 pairs of coins at the same time. Because there is every tendency that when you bought, like you are seeing the market is in red now. What happened actually yesterday is that the day before yesterday, the market, um, Bitcoin was actually spiking up and then everybody was hopeful that, okay, this one is actually going to 34,000. We are, we are going to break the 35,000 resistance level and then maybe we will continue that way. But surprisingly, um, a day after Bitcoin started dropping, in fact, the morning of that night that Bitcoin was going on, Bitcoin started dropping. So if this board has carried out a trade when it was at $34,000, it will not sell until bitcoin hit at least 1.3 percent or one percent depending on the settings you carried out on your trade if you have not seen the videos um, on how to set up your trading well please check the links below this video description you'll get to see that uh, video so that you'll be able to do your settings very well and for those, those of you who are yet to sign up you can equally go to the um, link below to download the app use the link in the video description to download the app and sign up for an account you can equally join us on telegram if you want to learn more about this platform so basically that is what happened if bitcoin this board bought bitcoin at 34,000, it will wait until when bitcoin increases to 1.3 percent or 1 percent depending on the settings that you made on your app before it will sell if not it will keep showing this minus and then the other issue i want to take care of here is um those of you who started with some balance of USDT on your Binance account, um, let me go to the Binance account. You have some balance of USDT on your Binance account and all of a sudden because you are trading with this board, the USDT balance is no longer there. If the USDT balance is no longer there, you will equally see that other coins or the trading pairs that you are trading, you have some balance on those pairs. So it doesn't mean that the app has disappeared with your balance. The only thing is that it has only exchanged your USDT to every other pair of coin that you are currently trading. So if you don't see any balance on your USDT account, definitely you will see balance on these other coins. You will see some balance here on these other coins. So what this app simply does is that it will now wait. After exchanging your USDT to every other pair of coin you are trading, it will now wait for the market to increase by 1%, 1.3% before it can actually execute that trade. And then you, the Binance, the, the USDT you have will now return back to your account. So it trades other coins with your USDT balance to make profit for you. So what the app is doing automatically, it keeps increasing your USDT 
for you by buying other coins and selling high. He buys other coins when the price is low and then sell it when the price is high. So in a case where every market, everything is showing red in the market this way and you're having that problem, once you fund your account, all you just need to do is to click on the particular coin. And when you click on the particular coin, you will see on the position replenishment that is actually telling you to go to policy page to uh, correct. This is where you are going to correct it, where you say open margin call. By default, you see the play icon here. So all you just need to do to open that position replenishment, you just click on it. And you go ahead and click on it and it will prompt you to confirm. Just go ahead and click on confirm. And once it's showing up, um, this play button, it means that you have enabled the position replenishment because you now have balance on your account. So that is what you are going to do. Fund your account and then come into every coin that you are trading. Um, go to any coin you are trading and then click on the play button and confirm. And you will do that for all of the pairs that you are currently trading. Anyone that is not showing play, you go ahead and click on it. On the margin um, call, just go ahead and then click on it so any of these that you are trading just click on it if you want to um, actually take care of that position replenishment complain you click on it again confirm and that will take care of the issue of position replenishment that is what you are going to do for all of the coins that you are trading and that issue will be taken care of and once again before you do this you must have um some balance in your binance account and if you are trading with just 100 usdt there is no need of trading up to 10 pairs of coins it's it's not necessary actually it is not an ideal um or an, a good um trading strategy so you don't need to go and trade up to 10 pairs of coin just start with one or two at most two yeah when, when you are having um, 10 usdt in your balance so that the, the, you have enough balance when the price dip, you know, when Bitcoin goes down, you have enough balance in your account for the app to keep trading and carrying out those trades for you in order for you to be in profit. And once again, this app has no access to your funds. The only thing is that it can only exchange your funds from USDT to any other um, uh, or any other coin in the market. And it is all to your advantage, to your own good. So if you have issues with this, um, leave comments in, you know, use the comment section below and ask your particular question. But these are the main things that I, I, I know people are battling with and I just think I should address it in this video. So once again, when you have that position replenishment issue, fund your account and then come back to each of these coins. You click on it and when it, where it says stop margin call, you just go ahead and click on it to play. Or and all those kind of stuff to start playing and it will take care of that issue and if you are not seeing any usdt in your account it means it has been transferred to other coin and it will sell it back to the usdt it doesn't mean that your money has disappeared or you are seeing zero balance i hope this video is helpful if you are new to my channel once again consider subscribing you can join my community using the link um the telegram link in the video description below and i hope you have it good with the royal q robot and you know start making some good do with this so with this said if you have any issue use the comment section below and i'll definitely attend to your issues and if you have particular issues you want me to address via a video like this just leave comment in the video description and i will attend to that so that is it for this video i will see you in my next video